The Rix mix can chain to a nearby DPO for pre-distribution of six waveforms to the six inputs. Two of the waveforms are not available on the front panel of the DPO itself. The waveforms are VCOA Sawtooth, VCOA Triangle, VCOA Sign, VCOB Triangle, VCOB Final, VCOB Spike. They are arranged symmetrically in terms of harmonic content, so the waves with the most high harmonics are out on the edges, and the simpler waves are toward the middle. This helps give a natural feel when scanning or radiating among the waves. Because the DPO is set up for the two oscillators to interact with each other in a number of intuitive ways, it is easy to set the channels up so that they are all interrelated. For example, the FM bus, mod bus, and the oscillator sync and follow circuits are all useful when using the Rix mix and DPO together. You are by no means limited to this selection and distribution. Any waveform can be removed from the mix by putting a cable in its input. Let's use a sample from the phonogene in channel 3. Adding some CV control to the mix, we can come up with interesting animation very quickly. Start sequencing the DPO and animating the strike input. going to set VCOA into LFO mode. Right now only channels 1 and 2 have VCOA waves in their inputs, so I'm going to break them out by patching from the A output. Let's use these channels to modulate size on the herb verb. Now whenever they are selected we'll hear a sweep of size in time with the modulation to the final output as I turn up the mod bus. Visit makenoisemusic.com for more information.